Hello, welcome back to Cracking the Cryptic. And today we're looking at Killer Sudoku, basically. Well, there's a diagonal as well. But I like it when we get puzzles that, uh, that feature fairly straightforward rule sets. And this one um, really does. But it's by a constructor who we have featured on the channel before. Even if you poured over Vebby's brilliantly maintained um, catalogue of all our puzzles, which is linked under the video, um, you might not notice it though, because um, Jay Smirob has acquired a pseudonym since we did a puzzle of his called Trisection nearly two full years ago. So a long gap between appearances, but hopefully all the more worthwhile. I'm going to look at this in a moment now. It's called A Puzzle in Two Parts. I wonder if we'll find what they are. Uh, first of all, don't forget that we... You can look at, on Patreon at various things that have gone up lately, including Simon's uh, recording of another couple of hours spent in the Islands of Insight. Uh, we will be streaming a different game on Tuesday, so do join us on Tuesday evening. I think, well, our clocks have changed back so that we'll be back to normal times for US viewers. I'm not sure. I think they changed tonight. I really ought to know about that, actually. Actually, let's look it up. Um, clocks change. No, that's next week, so we won't be back to normal time yet. There we go. Um, so, uh, but we will, of course, be normal time for everybody who's following either the British clocks changing or, um, or Central European time, I think, which goes in concert with the British ones. Um, so it's 10 p.m. our time on Tuesday, basically. Um, and on Patreon also, my solve of um, the Times Cryptic that Simon solved on the channel. You can see my attempt to go quickly at it. It takes me longer than I'd like, but it's quicker than most people would do it in, I suppose. We could say that. Um, and that's on Patreon as well. Um, loads of stuff goes up there. And on the first of the month, we will have a new hunt. We are in the planning of it at the moment, actually. Uh, and what else is going on? There's all our apps. Check those out. There is a Killer Sudoku app. It's very good. There are some great puzzles in there. Um, and many others, of course. And there's Sven Sudoku Pad and our merchandise. But the first link under this puzzle is to a puzzle in two parts by Jay Smirob. And the rules are that just normal Sudoku rules apply one to nine in every row, every column, and every three by three box. Digits in cages sum to the indicated total, if given. There's a couple of cages for which there is no total given. Um, digits cannot repeat within a cage or on the indicated diagonal. So that's a set of the digits, one to nine. Give it a try on that first link. I'm going to start now. Let's see how we go. Let's get cracking. OK, the first thing to note is there are no complete giveaway cages. Uh, ones where we would know what the digits in them are. Nine in three cells has three different fills. So does eight in two cells. And the other given totals are worse. Okay, I'm looking at the diagonal then. I know what those three add up to. And that's because I know a secret that I'm prepared to share with you. So, listen closely, but basically every row, every column, and every box in a Sudoku adds up to the same total. And that total is 45. And that's just by virtue of the rule that each of those areas contains the digits 1 to 9. And it turns out they always add up to 45. So this central box adds up to 45. And that's made up of two cages that add up to 33. And these three digits that are all on the diagonal. So I subtract 33 from 45, and I know that those three digits add up to 12. OK, here's why I think that might now be interesting. That means the remaining digits on the diagonal add up to 33. Let's just highlight them. Those add up to 33, because again, that diagonal must add up to 45, since it contains no repeats, and therefore has the digits 1 to 9 on again. Um, right, those yellow cells add up to 33, but four of them are in nine cages. Well, they must add up to at least 16, because if you put the minimum digit one in both of those cells, 
These remaining cells in the nine cage therefore have a maximum total of 16. And that means that these two at a minimum add up to 17. And that is also therefore a maximum because they have to be two different digits because they're on the same diagonal. Those are eight and nine. These two cells are ones. The cells that go in the nine cage are in one case two six and in the other case three five. They have to clearly be different made up nine cages because of the diagonal. And they've both got a one in. The way you make up nine cages in three cells is one, two, six, one, three, five, or two, three, four. Ah, two, three, four, very useful, because look, this nine cage can't have a one in it now. We've only placed two digits in the puzzle, but we've learned that. Okay, well, this is getting interesting now. I mean, it was already interesting. It's more interesting. These digits are one, four, seven. Four can't go in a two cell eight cage because it would have to go with another four, and we get our third digit right smack bang in the middle of the puzzle. It's a four. These two cages are clearly one seven cages. I could color those one sevens against each other, but I don't think it would do much yet. Now the two, three, four down here, right. Where does this cell appear in box nine? It can't reappear in, its, in the same cage, so it's not in any of those cells, and it can't reappear in the same column. So that cell, okay, I'm just gonna get rid of the yellow to start with now. I'm gonna call that red. That must appear in one of these two cells, because that's all that's left. And it therefore has a value of two, three, or four, and it therefore appears in one of these two cells. And the same goes for this one. Let's call that yellow again this time, because yellow is a good contrast with red. Now that appears in one of those two. Again, it can't be in the same cage or the same row. And then it appears in one of these two, because it's not in that eight, nine cell. So that is two, three, or four. Oh, this nine cage is exactly the same as this one. I didn't notice that. But one can't be in it, therefore it's a two, three, four cage. I was going to say now we know the population of all the two, three, four, of all the nine cages, but actually we don't really know how those go yet, so not quite true. Right, we've got the same sort of issues going on. This is an eight cell cage. Ah, that digit doesn't appear anywhere in this eight cell cage. Eight different digits do appear in it, that's the rule. But that cell sees every cell in the cage. So that is the ninth digit. Where does this appear in the cage? It must be here. Where does this appear in the cage? It must be here. I'd love it if I could color those. Well, okay, I'm gonna use a different color scheme now. Orange there equals orange there, green there equals green there. And I'd love to try and tie orange and green into red and yellow. Yeah, okay, green can't be yellow because green appears twice now in columns one and two, so it's not there. That doesn't unfortunately mean that green is red, although it could be, in which case it would have to go here. Ah. Red does go there. Look, there's a two, three, four triple in row one. So that is not two, three, or four, and yet red must be two, three, or four. So red is definitely here. Red is now not orange. Okay, that's something. Is that what I wanted to know down here? No, I learned that green wasn't yellow down there, which, which knowledge bomb is a different fact from red not being orange. Um, oh, and there's a, this triple is pointing into the corner. That can't be two or three. It's pointing into the bottom corner. That can't be two or three. That's our five, six pair on the diagonal. And this is our two, three pair on the diagonal. Now I want to color them again. But since red could be green, Uh, 
Okay, what I'm going to do is abandon the whole color scheme so far, yet again. And I'm just going to color all digits that are 2, 3, or 4. Let's go blue, because I haven't used that yet. Because this is getting interesting in terms of where 2, 3, and 4 go. Look, we've used all three in rows 1 and 2. So, R. I can place the last two, three, or four in box three. It's got to be here. I know that because this, we've used them all up in rows one and two, all the two, three, fours. There's only three of those in each row. So those can't be, and that can't be. We, that isn't because we've labeled it eight or nine. And this can't be two, three, or four. In fact, this is a five, six cage because two, three, and four have gone in the column and 11 needs one digit below six in it, at least that one has to be five. So we've got a five, six pair there. Now we've got a two, three, four triple. Everything else in the box is from seven, eight, nine. Now we've got two, three, four done. We need two more two, three, fours in column seven, eight, nine. They're both in column seven and they're both in box six and they're both in these two cells. Isn't that weird? Let's see if we can place more of these blues. I should, basic, unless there was an extra clue. Was that 11 an extra clue that helped me place them? Surely I can do a symmetrical thing here. We can't have that be a 2, 3 or 4, and we can't have that be a 2, 3 or 4 because of the column. And we can only have one in row nine. So we get one there, and that decides that that can't be because now we've got two, three, and four in column two, and that is the last two, three, or four in box seven. Now we've got three in row nine and row eight. We need two more in row seven. They're both in box eight. This is crazy. Love it. Now, something I've been meaning to think about for a while, I can do more actually. No, I can't, but I think this 34 cage might help. That's what I've been meaning to think about for a while. First of all, I'm going to observe we need two more two, three, and fours in this row. They're both in box two. So they are two of these cells. Now, I was going to write them into those. Actually, I think that's wrong, and I'll explain why in a moment. There's also two out of two, three, four there. Okay, let's look at this. Okay, the, the 34 cage is using six Sudoku digits that are all different from each other by rule. The three that it's not using add up to 11, and I know that by again subtracting from 45. 45 minus 34 is 11, so the three digits that don't go in the cage add up to 11. Now, what are those three digits? If I was to put two, three, and four here, the two remaining ones in row three, then none of two, three, or four would get in the cage. And the, cage, the digits missing from the cage would be two, three, and four. Well, they don't add up to 11. They add up to nine. Last I checked, as somebody occasionally writes on the comments when I make a maths mistake, as though they were busy checking what added up to 14 lately. Sorry, Simon, it's bad timing. Um, so... Those cannot be two, three, four. Sorry, those two cannot both be from two, three, four, but we need two of them to appear here. So that one is from two, three, and four. And then the digits missing from 34, the digits that add up to 11 that aren't in this cage, include two of two, three, four, and either six or five. Because it's either 236 or 245 that is missing. So one is in the 34 cage in one of those cells. And one's in one of those. Um, so the digits missing include a 2. So that's not a 2 because that's in the cage. So one of those is a 2 in this column. And that's now not a 2 and is a 3. 
This is getting exciting. Now, that's a two four pair and that's a three. That's not a three. That's not a three. Is that going to... It's not going to suddenly deal... One of those is a three. I don't think it's going to suddenly deal with the the diagonal digits, unfortunately, of two, three. Now, there is a three in this 17 cage and two digits that add up to 14. So there is a two in this cage and it's not in those cells, it must be there. That gets a blue color as well. That places two in box six. That doesn't necessarily make that a two yet. It makes that not a two. Three. Okay, this is not a three. One of those is. Whatever that is, is there, so that's not a four. Whatever that is, is there, so that's not a four. So we've got a two, three pair, and we get to place four in box nine. I can't quite tell whether that's as a consequence of what we've done or not. Now, we've got the two, three, four triple here, so those aren't those aren't and that isn't so the remaining two three and four in box four are in those cells that one must be a three now that's going to place three in the central box there we go and we've got almost all the blues that's the remaining blue in box two so that's all the blue two, three, and fours placed. It would be lovely if we'd disambiguated them all. Ooh, two, four pair in the bottom row. That's a three. Maybe we're about to. Two there, four here. We might be about to uncover all of these two, threes, and fours, which is getting me a little overexcited, as you can tell. That's a four. That's a two. Three in the corner. That's three in the corner. That's three in the spot. Light. Losing its religion. Look at that. All of these unwind in an absolutely beautiful way. Okay, so now we can do the corner cells on the diagonal. We've got a five there and a six there to make up the nine. That six looks into this cell and does five and six. Now, seven, eight, nines are probably going to be the next... Let's get rid of all the blue colouring because we've literally, we've literally done it all. We've placed all the twos, threes, and fours in the grid completely. That's awesome. Right, now, the other... Okay, what is this missing? It's got a three in. It doesn't have two or four in. The other digit it doesn't have in there for is five to make up to 11. So five must sit here to avoid being... to be in box two, but avoid being in the cage. This digit is the same as that one. Um, now, these were going to add up to 14. This one can't be 5 or 6, so it's 8 or 9. 3, 4, 2, 1, 7. These are the other pair from 5 that also add up to 14. The 1s and 7s on the diagonal don't seem to have been resolved yet. Hmm, okay, um, what next? 789, ah, oh, I'm looking for 789 triples. Maybe that. Maybe I should be looking for fives and sixes instead. Maybe that's a bit more of a straightforward thing to do. This isn't five or six, but it could still be one. I haven't really resolved ones, have I? Is it worth coloring ones and sevens? It just doesn't feel like it because I've only got those four to go on so far. That must be the same as that. I mean, I suppose those are different. Four, one, three, two, five. So six, seven, eight, nine, still to place somewhere in box seven. I'm getting a bit stuck now. Um, but this is going well, I think, overall. I'm not, I'm not unhappy with the solve. There is a six in one of those cells. Um, I don't know, there's no more cage. Oh yes, there is, no, I've used that cage total basically. Once I've kept five, four and two out of it, it's gonna have to work. There is a six in one of those cells. Um, and a six in one of those.
That can't be 1 or 7 because of Sudoku. In fact, 5, 8, and 9 have to fit into this row somewhere. How are we going to work out 1s and 7s? Okay, let's start colouring them just in case it does anything. I don't think it's going to, but I've been wrong before about this sort of thing. One of those is orange. One of those two is blue. So if whichever one is 1 either goes in that cell or in that cell, and that means this one can't be a 1. Well, I knew that anyway. 1, 3, 4, 2. OK, I'm not really sure what I'm looking for at the moment. 5 in this column actually is in one of these because there's nowhere else for it to be. So it's in one of those two cells. Um, it's not there because of this 5 in the corner. Oh, that 8 and 9 pair have to be different. Can we colour 8s and 9s against each other? It doesn't feel likely. It doesn't feel likely at all. OK, that is the same as that. Let's make them yellow. That has to appear in one of these cells along with 5. One of them is yellow. If it's a 7, then it's also blue. Does that do anything? Don't think so. Don't think it... Oh, it would put... Yeah, OK. If, it's, if that yellow is a 7, then 7 would have to be here in the corner. And there, and there... Is that going to suddenly break down in a brilliant way? I don't think it is. You're left with possibilities for seven in rows five and six that don't break, and that's unsurprising. Um, that can't be any of eight or nine because it sees both of the ones on the diagonal, two, three, five, four. So it is one, six, or seven. Again, that doesn't feel very powerful, I have to say. That is the same as that. We know that from this 34 cage, which is one of the very few things we've actually got going for us extra in this puzzle. So I'm wondering if I'm missing something about that that is actually helpful. Uh, it's not going to be the diagonal. Basically, the diagonal's done as far as it can be, I think. Blue, orange... Oh, OK. I hadn't thought of this before. But if you made that purple and that green, this cell sees all of orange, sees both the 1, 7 pair and the 8, 9 pair. So that is 5 or 6, literally one of those digits. I suppose, does this... No, this doesn't see a 1, 7 pair in this case at all. Not unless I'm completely missing some angle of the puzzle. Oh, that's very strange. Um, right, OK, this digit is either the same as green if it's 8 or 9, or it's the same as blue if it's 1 or 7. And whatever it is then, it must go in this cell. That's true. That's weird. So I don't know whether it's green or blue, but yellow is one of those and definitely does go here. Then it's definitely in one of those two. Now, yellow is one of those two, so yellow doesn't go there. Yellow in this box... is 7, 8 or 9, and it goes in one of those two. This is so strange. Therefore, that's not yellow, and this is. And it's not 5, therefore. And this is 5. I barely know how I've found that out, but it is true. Now, yellow is in one of these two. So it is forming an X-wing with that. 
And then it's in one of these three, and is that, no, it's not quite gonna tell me whether it's blue or, or green. It, that would be green if that was the case. Oh, so strange. Oh, goodness. Um, this puzzle's very odd to me. Yellow is in one... Oh, no, yellow could be blue, couldn't it? One of those two is yellow. Ah, bother. It's quite likely to be the same as blue, but that's not the same as proving it. Right, one seven. Can I get that any further? The orange. That was so strange about yellow because it was because of this group. So can I not do the same? Green is eight or nine. No, I can't because that could be green. Or I could look at whichever one of these is not yellow. Either that blue or green goes down here. along with five or six in one of these cells. That is one, seven, eight or nine there. Oh, hang on. That is right, that is not a five or six. So there's a one, seven, eight, nine quad in the row. Okay, so that's six. Again, I barely know how I've found this L, but I have. That's become a five. That's not a six. What is that? These are from 789. That makes a 789 triple in this row. That makes this 1 or 6. And this 1 or 6 as well. Let's get rid of the corner marks. Uh, there we go. That's a 1 6 pair. Um, what do I do? Can I do all 789s somehow? There's one there. There's one there. I, I kind of feel I need to colour all those aren't from 789. So I've got a 789 triple here. So that's one or six. Okay, I might be getting rid of all my current colouring. I don't know, it was very helpful with yellow though. So that might be a huge error. And I know one of those was yellow. It could have been there. So it doesn't have to be the same as that. Okay, I, I'm trying to get on the lookout for seven, eight, nine triples though. Not really understanding what I'm finding. Yellow is seven, eight or nine, and that is yellow. So that's from seven, eight, nine. So we've got five in one of those. One is either there or there. It can't be there because of the one seven pair. One. Oh, no, uh, I was going to say one has to be here. That's not true. There's 987 triple there. <laughs> this is a fascinating puzzle. If that was seven, then that's an eight, nine pair. I don't know quite how the rest will work. Now, I haven't really focused on these pairs that add up to 14. That pair does. So there's one of seven, eight, nine there. Oh, there's a one here, of course. So one of those two cells is a one. Oh, ones are in very odd positions around the grid now. But not ones that I think allow me to kind of fill them in. How about this column? Five, six, eight, nine remaining in it. That's six, eight or nine. It's not five. That's not five. But that one could be as could that. Oh, goodness. Um, I wonder, I hope we're in the second part of the puzzle at this point, according to the title. Not sure I understand quite how it works. Right. Is it to do with orange and blue still? And I'm just not quite getting that. If that was a one, that's orange one. Then where's one going around the grid? Then it's going there then it would have to be here and here. Okay, they would be positions for orange one. Blue one would be there and there and there. Obviously that one that is a one. 
and there and there. Um, and there. And then a X-wing pair. Bother. I don't think I've overlapped in those positions annoyingly, apart from where we've already got given ones. So I'm just not getting at that. Right, one of these two is a seven in the row. Oh, we had this yellow appearing there and there and then one of those and one of those. We know that yellow, come on yellow, do something for me yellow. Yellow can't be in any of those cells. So yellow's in one of those three. Oh. No. Can blue be yellow? I bet it can, can't it? There's, yeah, there's no problem with that at all. Ah, oh, okay. Not quite getting it now. There's only one thing to do in this puzzle and it will come, come together. Um, one and six in column five. If they weren't there, they'd both be here. I don't know what that would mean. So one, six, seven, eight, nine. I'm missing something in the colouring, I believe. I wonder what it is. Maybe I do need to colour sevens, eight, nines against each other. So I know that's yellow and that's yellow. So if I was to start colouring other seven, eight, nine digits, would it ever amount to anything? Let's make that one. Oh, in fact, that one is purple because we've got purple there. Oh, so that's not seven. So seven's definitely in one of these cells. Is that any use in the cage? No, I don't think it is. Well, it's an X-wing with sevens there. Okay, carry on the coloring with a bright blue there. So we've got our three colors for seven, eight, nine. So these are yellow and purple. That one is yellow, we know that. I've known that before. This one is not yellow, but I, I don't see how I know whether it's blue or pur bright blue or purple. I don't think that color scheme's gonna work. I could make that bright blue out of it. Um, come on, keep thinking about this. One of those, no, not necessarily bright blue because it could be a seven sitting there. Bother. Oh, purple has to be in one of those two because it's not the same color as yellow. That's interesting. Um, and therefore this is purple and is not seven as a result. Therefore this is the seven. Wow, that is an un odd and unexpected result of coloring. Now that puts seven in one of those two positions and is, leaves it very uncertain in box nine. But I don't know if it's yellow. Six is in one of those two. One, six, seven, eight. Oh gosh, I found a digit and I thought it would help and it absolutely didn't. So one of these is purple. No, one of those two is purple. I know that. These are purple and yellow. Maybe I'll get rid of my orange and blue because I don't know what they're doing for me anymore. I haven't really studied them in a long time. The orange and the dark blue. Let's get rid of that. That one's definitely yellow. Right, so these are purple and yellow. We've got blue there. So blue is in one of those three. And that, no, one of those two is blue. Okay, but I don't know which one. Blue's in one of those three, yeah, okay, that's true. Now, blue is somewhere in the bottom row in one of those three. If that was not a six, it is blue. Oh, blue is definitely there in the top row. So it's 
No, I was going to say it's definitely in this cage, but not if it's seven, it's not necessarily. Oh, yellow. I've got yellow as there. No, that was, that was a mistake. Yellow was in one of those two. That is not definitely yellow. Right, that's a relief. Okay. Because I thought I was missing something entirely. Right, blue got placed there. They're not blue. They must include one of these high digits. Yellow and purple are there. Yellow is there. So the high digit they include is purple. Which is interesting a bit, maybe. That can't be yellow or purple. It is blue. And therefore blue is not seven. This might be very significant. Therefore that is not blue. And that is not yellow. Now this is yellow, definitely, and is seven. Right, seven, one, that's also yellow and is seven. Uh, sorry, in the wrong mode. Seven, one. That becomes a one by Sudoku. Yellow is seven. This is the vital finding here. Okay, that's seven sevens placed in the grid. Now, purple and blue, come on. We must have some clue where you're going from now on. One of those is blue. Wrong blue. And that is therefore fully purple and is not seven. That's fairly obvious in the box. That doesn't deserve a color. We've got a bright blue in here and a bright blue in there. Ah! Sorry, I'm just messing around with the colours, getting, getting them wrong. Now, bright blue is there, purple is here. So, maybe I now have to relate it to fives and sixes, which is a bit of a stretch. I thought I was about to finish, and I'm really a long way short. Oh no, we've got a purple X-wing, so that becomes purple, and is not five. So the five is here. Let's hope that helps. That makes this a six. That does help. Now this bright blue becomes eight in the cage here. Eight. And that's a six eight pair. Purple becomes nine. That's a seven nine pair. Now we must be able to finish off. This is a five nine pair to make the 16 cage work. I can put in six and one now somehow. This is a 6-9 pair, that works. This is a 9-1 pair. What's this in a corner? That's 7, I should have done that a while ago. That's not 9. This isn't 6 or 9. This is where 5 goes in the cage, it looks like. 8, 6, 8. So let's correct. Ooh, I don't like that I've written two 8s in there. Let's, let's not do that. Um, now, the eights are the blue colours, and these don't, sorry, none of those get any colours. Right. So, I've now, by Sudoku, I can do that as 9-5, that as 9-7, that as 8-7. Okay, and the nines are purple. Are they not? That has no colour, that has a yellow colour, as does this one, and that's blue. There we go. So, this is the remaining blue. There are, we've done all the yellows, we've done all the purples. Um, that is a five, I think, by Sudoku. That's a one, that's a six, and we finish off now with a one and a six. Lovely puzzle, that is the correct solution. Um, in 309 days, only 11 people have done that. I hope a few more people will have done it by the time you see this. That's a great puzzle. I'm not quite sure how the two parts divided up there, but maybe it was to do with the diagonal first and then the rest. Very clever stuff from Jay Smirob and delighted to do it. Hope to see you again on the channel tomorrow. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.